Good morning guys, so I thought I will do a little vlog for you from my new home um, So I woke up, applied my makeup, listening to Whitney Houston Louis is under my bed sheets The funny thing is he comes out in the evenings, he like eats, uses his scratch post, his toilet, he plays, he rolls on his back, he's super happy um, He walks around me but then, once the morning starts, he's back under my sheets, well, he sleeps under my sheets with me, but then he would not come out all day. So, he's still very scared of um, the city ambience, all the car sounds, so, yeah, I think it will take some time for him to get used to it. I'm gonna finish getting dressed, I'm gonna put my trousers on and then go have like have a little bite to eat for breakfast. Probably not even have coffee, just some granola and because uh, I have to rush to return my lights from Ellen Deco that I bought yesterday because it doesn't suit my living room. Alexa, stop. Uh, yeah, it's just too small for my living room that my parents invited me to come over for lunch and to spend the weekend with them I meant to get some groceries on the way to my parents so that I wouldn't need to shop on the way back to my home. I need that fig jam. Blackberries. Oh. So I'm back home. It's a little past 10 p.m. and I was at my parents this whole time um, since afternoon. We watched so many episodes of Big Bang Theory. I think like four, and then we watched some TV shows. Um, so yeah, I had a great evening with them. We had um, late lunch coffee we were chatting i'm gonna show you what i bought today so today i went to acropolis to return the light that i bought yesterday oh so um yesterday it was friday um i went to plata's class uh then my mom came over for coffee it takes me one minute well maybe two minutes to drive there uh, I don't walk because it's cold and dark in the morning and windy and gray and chilly and yeah um, I drive by car but it takes max two minutes so it's very very close um, and yeah we work out and then she comes over at mine for coffee and then like cake or cinnamon buns because we used to have that out in a coffee place but now she comes at mine which is so so lovely i just i think it's gonna be our ritual mother and daughter ritual working out together then she's over for coffee and then i start my day oh i went to get my wi-fi which is finally here I have wi-fi at home i got my internet today so this is the router and I really like it because it's a portable one so you can have it at home but then you can carry it with you and have internet wherever you want for up to three hours I think he said the battery lasts and um, yeah it's so small and nice it's usually um, they're quite big and bulky this is my 
Wi-Fi. Then, so after turning the light, I did a little bit of shopping. I went to Tiger to get a couple things. So I wanted to get some jars from Tiger, the jars that I already have and love. I wanted to get some more. And I also wanted to get something for jams, like, um, cause I took homemade jams from my home about those. And yeah, a couple more things from Tiger that I'm gonna show you. And I'm gonna do a grocery haul because I know you guys love my grocery hauls. And so it's gonna be like a weekend vlog. I'm gonna vlog tomorrow, but I'm not doing that much tomorrow. I'm actually just gonna clean my apartment. I have to vacuum, uh, have to mop the floor, dust everything, you know, just regular cleaning. <laughs> And I want to cook because I found this recipe. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Oh, yesterday I watched um, Outlander. I love, what episode did I watch? Episode seven, maybe six or seven. It was incredible, the season four, the best episode of the season so far to me. And today I'm gonna watch the latest one. Louis. Louis. He's purring, at least. That's one good sign. Hello. Hello, come on, baby. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone because I watched some videos that you shouldn't disturb cats if they're hiding and if they're scared, like you shouldn't um, take them out of their hiding spot. So, from Tiger, I got this beautiful basket absolutely obsessed with it um can't remember how much it was actually but yeah i i bought it for my bathroom i'm gonna show you exactly where i'm gonna put it so yeah that's that this is just <laughs> i took from home my mom gave it to me it's like lemon ginger and what else honey i think it's frozen so i'm supposed to keep it in the freezer or the fridge and then have it you know if I feel poorly or just to uh, boost my immune system. This is something that I treated myself to today. It's from Christiana. So it is an Italian brand. I had a hairbrush from them, which was really nice, but I saw this one. So they have a bunch of different hairbrushes and this one really caught my attention today. Maybe because of the looks of it, not maybe definitely because of the looks um but yeah it looks like a really nice uh hairbrush for detangling my hair because i do have super tangly hair so i do have tangle teasers i have the wet brush i have the mason pearson which is probably the most ridiculously priced hairbrush ever i can never resist a hairbrush um so it was 16.99 yeah looks really good i'll let you guys know how I like this brush or don't like it. So this is everything that I got at Tiger today. So did you guys know that they have spices? I never paid attention to that section. Didn't realize they do spices and they're all so funny. I stood there for like good 15 minutes just reading the descriptions. I love them, they're hilarious. So yeah, I got cinnamon sticks. Then I got turmeric. The color of this ground turmeric has been found to be quite hysteric. <laughs> I feel like a Bollywood star in a tandoori masala film. Okay, I also got this, which is a candle holder um, for a bottle. So I don't have a bottle here with me now. I'm gonna have to, you know, get an empty wine bottle. And then I always wanted to do this. They have these sort of candles in Piano Piano restaurant in Vilnius where you just um, actually, they don't use it. They just stick a candle uh, in an empty bottle and then the candle drips and the whole bottle is like covered in wax and it just it just looks very nice and sort of romantic and cool. So this is basically um, a holder that you put inside a bottle like that and then you put a candle in and just drops. And then for that, I also got some candles. So I just got simple white candles. Some more. Oh, these are Greek spices. Gyros. It's all Greek to me. Oh, hello. <laughs> you 
you sleepy munchkin. Hi. It's so funny that he only comes out at night when it's, it's a little bit more quiet for him. Then this uh, I got from Drogas. It's Maybelline Fit Me Luminous and Smooth Foundation. I got in the lightest shade. So I bought this one because I heard really good things about it from a makeup artist that I know. Okay, so that's the rest of the stuff that I got from Tiger. I got two of these jars with a cork lid because I really like them. Um, have them here. Got two of them. So I don't know, I, I do have quite a few spices here still that I need to, like bay leaves, I need to put them into one of these. And then these two jars, as I said, for um, and jams got two of those these i believe were three euros each and these ones as well and then they have a ton of different colorful candles so i got this sort of khaki colored one and then i got this beautiful mint colored one um they're one euro each now i'm gonna show you guys what i got grocery wise from Rumi. so normally i don't buy plastic bags as you know i use my canvas tote but I needed an extra bag that I didn't have and also I'll use this as a trash bag. So I bought some more biodegradable kitchen cloth. Then I bought this to clean my hub because I burned something. So I need to scrub it. Um, then I bought some red lentils. I've actually never had lentils, believe it or not. Never had a dish with lentils. And I'm gonna show you the recipe I found that I want to cook tomorrow. So this is it. It's just a random recipe I googled. It's um, from a website called Feed Me Phoebe. Love the name. And yeah, look at that. It looks so yummy. So it's red lentils, spinach, avocados. Oh my god, it looks so delicious. So I'm gonna try that tomorrow. See what happens. Oh, even a YouTube video how to make that's so cool okay moving on i got my favorite uh Com castle mild cheddar cheese i told you guys i adore this cheddar i then got this cute little basket probably to keep my bath bombs and little soaps in the bathroom got some uh wet food for louis and uh, ground flaxseed for baking my favorite banana muffins then I got some almond flakes and coconut milk. I got cherry tomatoes. I think these are my favorite ones to buy. Got some spinach for the lentil recipe. Then, this is something lazy that I got. It's um, chicken wings, uh, but they're already marinated in berry sauce. Got some fig jam. I got um, rye bread, some prosciutto. I got some beef mince for lasagna that I want to make again. I also finally found basil that's not completely dead. I'm gonna try and keep it alive. It smells incredible and my car smells like basil now. I'll have to do some organizing and also um, put stuff in these jars. Let's pop these. To my kitchen, not kitchen, my bathroom. Oop, here we go. So, okay, this is where I think this uh, wire basket will go instead of this one. And look what I did here with my towels in the corner. I bought this basket from Thomas Phillips and I just rolled my towels and they will be stored like that. I think it's gonna be super handy to just grab one um, after my bath. And then here I have some hair products, a shower gel, some candles. My drawers are so full already. So these are my hair brushes. Let's welcome a new one. Maybe I should just put it here for now because I wanna test it out. And then here's my makeup drawer. Yep, the other part of my makeup is in my bedroom, 
So this will be my new foundation. So that's everything I got from this Balm Cosmetics um, advent calendar. Oh my god, it smells so good. Let's do a little switching. The bathroom looks pretty tidy to me. Here's my sink situation. I still need to order two of those IKEA bath mats and also my toilet brush and a bin. I'm gonna play some music and organize this mess here. Alexa, play Billie Holiday Volume 3. My lentils are here. I popped a candle in here. It looks super nice. I'm gonna show you what it should look like. It should look something like that. So you can use a simple wine bottle, empty wine bottle, or something pretty like this. I think my basil should live here. I'm gonna put these spices away I need to go change into something more comfortable hey mister I wouldn't allow him on the table, but he still needs to get used to the city sounds and he wants to look through the window to see what's going on outside so that he feels safer. So for now, I will not say anything until he gets comfy here at home. Chopped up half of um, melon. This will be my snack for the night. And I'm gonna have this one, um, Soothing Organic Herbal Tea. It's lemongrass and rose hip. <laughs> my sofa is so low because I removed the legs of the sofa so that Louis wouldn't constantly be under there. Um, I wanted him to kind of get out of there and get comfortable. So here he is, he's just chilling here. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my blanket. I'm gonna watch um, the latest episode of Outlander. So guys, I uh, will see you tomorrow for another day of vlogging. Almost said vlogmas there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a chill night in. It's already late, it's already past midnight and I'm just starting my TV series. But it's the weekend, right? So no big deal. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Happy Sunday. So it's actually already afternoon. I woke up this morning, had a line, watched some YouTube videos, stretched. It was a really nice, relaxed morning. I'm gonna try out my new hairbrush. So I'm just using my current favorite hair oil. Schwarzkopf um, Oil Ultime Rose because it's really nice but my hair is super tangly still even after the oil you can see it's a tangly mess so let's see how the brush will mm. 
It's not as gentle on the hair as I thought it would be. Oh my god, no. Maybe it's for brushing out dry hair, not wet hair, because now it just pulls on my hair. So this will be for dry hair brushing. Um, it's like uh, my Mason Pearson brush, it's also best for dry hair. But it makes your hair super staticky, so I wouldn't actually recommend it. So I'm gonna use, oh, it's completely different. This is my Tangle Teaser finishing brush, I believe, and it is the softest of the Tangle Teasers that I found so far, because I do have, uh, you know, original Tangle Teasers, and I also have this, uh, it's called the Wet Detangler. So I bought specifically for my tangly hair and it is like, you can hear the sound, it's not, it's not, but it's quite harsh I feel like. So this is my favorite tangle teaser because it is the softest, it has long um, bristles. So my plan for today is to have a nice chilled breakfast while watching friends and then um, I need to do house cleaning as I said, then I also need to answer some interview questions for 15 minutes um it's like actually a newspaper or news portal but it's gonna be yeah for their portal for the online version um i think there are about 20 questions to answer i already topped one kiwi yesterday for <laughs> preparation for my breakfast so i'm gonna use that Gonna use this um, that I use in Vlogmas, lingonberry and lemongrass mashy. I don't have my blackberries because they were sold out in all the me shops that I went to. I don't know what the hell is going on, why they're all sold out, but yeah. Don't have those, so I am gonna add some peanut butter. Just a spoonful of that. I'm gonna use the melon that I didn't finish yesterday. This is perfection. Gabriele, if you're watching, I'm finally taking good use of the blanket you got me for Christmas. So I had this glass candle holder for I think a couple years now. It's probably from Jimmy or Maximo, one of the supermarkets. Absolutely love it and I think the color of this candle is so beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna light a candle for coziness. To Ravina again. I finished cleaning my entire bathroom. Uh, guys, this, oh my goodness, if you are into your cleaning products, it's a raspberry toilet cleaner. Wow, my whole bathroom smells like raspberries now. cleaning I'm about to make the red lentil curry so for this recipe you need some fresh ginger and I definitely bought it I was like looking through all my veg and fruit I was like where is my ginger and then I decided to check my handbag and look at the contents of my bag so I have some M&Ms and I have my ginger. I'm gonna start cooking. Um, so the recipe is from Feed Me Phoebe, but apparently it is a deliciously Ella recipe. 
and it should take five minutes to prepare and four to five minutes to cook. Actually, I've been sidetracked and I started editing a vlog, a moving vlog after cleaning. So it's already 11 p.m. and I'm just starting to cook. I'm very hungry as you can imagine because I only ate once today. So yeah, finally gonna cook. The internet that I got is so extremely fast. So the vlog ended up being 20 minutes and it's uploaded in under five minutes, like four minutes, that's insane. So there will definitely be lots of vlogs because it will take me no time to upload, that's crazy. All you're gonna need is a tablespoon of olive or coconut oil. I've got my olive oil ready. Uh, one small red onion diced, I'm gonna use half of a big onion. Uh, two garlic cloves, minced. Then one inch of fresh ginger, peeled and minced, which is here, about two and a half centimeters. Um, one serrano chili pepper, seeded and minced. I'm using half of it because I had a leftover. Um, one teaspoon ground cumin, which is here. So these are some Turkish spices that I have. Then one teaspoon garam masala which is what I bought yesterday. It's tandoori masala. Hopefully it's the same thing. I'm not too sure, but that's what I'm gonna use. Um, and one quarter of a teaspoon of coriander. And then one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, which is what I don't have. I have some fresh tomatoes I could use. And I also have these tomatoes that are made by my grandmother. They're so delicious, so I think I'm gonna use those. Maybe pop in a couple fresh tomatoes in there as well. Uh, what else? One uh, teaspoon of sea salt, one 15 ounce can and sweetened full fat coconut milk. Um, I don't know if that's full fat, but this is a coconut milk I'm gonna use. One cup of red lentils, which I have here. And then five ounces of baby spinach. You need five ounces, which is about 150 grams. And here I have only 50 grams. So, you know, I don't have enough, but that's one bag that I have. And hopefully that's gonna be enough. It looks like a lot of spinach to me. So I don't know, let's start cooking it. Now I'm gonna mince these four. And then you also need avocado as a decoration on top. Wow, this stuff already smells incredible because of ginger, I believe. Yum. So what you have to do now is saute the onion for five minutes on medium heat um, until soft, which I didn't do because I blended everything together. And then you're supposed to add garlic, ginger, serrano, cumin, masala and coriander. Cook until very fragrant for two minutes. So. What I'm gonna do is just let my um, olive oil heat up for a little bit and just pop everything in so the onions might not be as soft, but we'll see what happens. All right, so let's pop everything in the pan. I'm so glad I took my tripod from my studio so now I can cook with both hands and properly show everything to you guys. Um, so now let's add masala. The reason I'm cooking with a silicone spatula is because I think uh, masala might stain if I use the wooden one. It smells incredible. Definitely check it out if you are in Tiger. Now I'm gonna add a teaspoon of ground cumin and one quarter of a teaspoon of coriander. The spices smell absolutely incredible. So I chopped some fresh cherry tomatoes. Uh, pop those in and then I'm gonna with these canned tomatoes. Well, not canned, but like marinated. 
Okay, then you're supposed to add a teaspoon of sea salt, which I think is definitely too much. Um, this is dead sea salt, so I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of it. Yeah, like this much, because I don't like too much salt. Maybe a tiny bit of pink Himalayan salt, but that's it, not gonna add anymore. Because when it's too salty, you cannot do anything about it. Your dish is ruined. It smells so good. I wish there was smell -o vision The recipe says cook for about five minutes until the tomato chunks have softened. And then you have to add in the coconut milk and one cup of water. Okay, I think it's time for me to add coconut milk and water. This coconut milk was in the fridge for a long time, so it has hardened, but you know, it should be liquid. And now I'm supposed to add a glass of water. And then it says bring to a boil over high heat. So my heat is at max now. So it's boiling now and I'm supposed to add a glass of lentil reduced to medium low heat. I think it's gonna be incredibly good because it smells insane. I've reduced the heat from 9 to 4 and now you're supposed to cook it for 25 to 35 minutes, uh, stirring occasionally um, to prevent lentils from sticking to the bottom of the pan. While my curry was cooking, I've answered half of the interview questions that I had to answer. And now I'm supposed to add in the spinach and cook until wilted for about three minutes. And then the recipe suggests uh, serving the curry with coconut rice, which is probably really nice, but I don't have any coconut rice pre-cooked. This will be my dinner. I had a little taste test and it tastes incredible, you guys. So, so good. So I'm gonna leave the recipe down below in the info bar. So I'm gonna have a plate of that. Uh, and the rest of it I put into this casserole dish. Um, and I'm gonna have it tomorrow. All right, I think tomorrow I'm gonna make my mom taste it because we're going to work out together in the morning and then she will pop over for coffee. But we'll see, maybe she will want to eat. <laughs> so I'll have that. Um, and yeah, now I've pretty much answered all of the interview questions. I have only two left. So I might just do them tomorrow morning. And I just want to relax with my food. Watching Friends.